Good morning, everybody. It is about 10 a.m. here in Houston, Texas. Um, I have the day off today. It's Friday. Shane, um, actually, I have every Friday off. Um, and Shane is out clay shooting this morning for work. He works half days on Fridays, so I'm going to go do some errands that I know he will not want to join me with. Um, I'm going to go to Target. I have to get gas. I'm going to go get some coffee and probably go to like Kirkland's, something else like that. So, um, yeah, I will check in with you guys as I hit those places. Um, Shane and I are going to do a day date since we are both not working today. And I think he's going to take me to go see The Incredibles too. Um, that way we can go see it during the day when it's not super crowded this evening. I need him to take me to Nordstrom because I have to return something there. And I want to go um, purchase a luggage tag from the Louis Vuitton store in the Galleria. So I think, I think we're either going to go there today, um, possibly tomorrow. So yeah. I will check in with you guys then. All right, y'all, so I just got my coffee fix at the Starbs in a personal cup. I always recommend a personal cup taking um, when you're going to get coffee or anything because not only do you get 10 cents off your order at Starbucks, you're just being a damn good person and saving the environment. Notice my stainless steel straw as well. Um, in case any of you are wondering what this is, I always, always, always get a triple iced espresso with three pumps of white chocolate mixed. There is not really uh, any dairy in it, so it's super strong, super caffeinated. Like, if you need something to wake you the fuck up, this is it. If you want something a little bit stronger, like even more pack a punch in your ass, <laughs> um, do a uh, blonde espresso. So again, that's a triple iced regular espresso or blonde espresso with three pumps of white chocolate mixed. It's delicious. Shane is finally back from clay shooting. How was it? Great. So Hi, we, you too. <laughs> <laughs> so we are heading to Home Depot right now to go get some more supplies for our next DIY. I will try to insert a picture, my inspo pick from Pinterest, if I can figure it out. <laughs> um, so we're going to be hosting 4th of July at our house this year. Um, so I want to build kind of an outdoor like skinny side table for my drink station where I'm going to have like sweet tea and lemonade and stuff so um we're gonna build that and then we're gonna go buy our tickets for the incredibles too so excited you yeah he's not he's not getting the hang of this and it's kind of you're kind of making me mad so um we will catch up with y'all at home depot so we decided we are going to use these one by three and they both have ABB these are I don't know, but they're $1.85. I think it's pine. So we're just going to get a bunch of these um, and use these as our base. The only thing with using the pine wood is that if I want it to kind of look like barn wood or if I want it to be white, like that inspiration pick that I was posting or showing y'all, um, I'll have to paint it. And that's, that's just a lot of extra work I'm not trying to do, but... Um, let me know what you guys think. Should I paint it? Should I just kind of leave it that wood color? I don't know yet, and I probably won't know until we get close to finishing, but some feedback would be nice. Let me know. So many different options you could use for the wood. They have this white wood, you know, like all of the pine and the cedar. I think this is oak. Um, I really like this like gray barn wood, but it is so expensive. Like, no thanks. Ghost wood, whatever that is. So yeah. We are back from Home Depot. We did go uh, purchase our tickets for The Incredible 2 tonight, so we have that at 8. Um, we were going to watch the first one here before 
we went to go see the second one, but um, I actually don't own the first Incredibles on DVD, which I'm surprised. That's like one of the only Disney movies that I don't own. So I'm watching The Prince of Egypt, if you don't know what that is. And um, Shane is upstairs playing PUBG. Has Does anyone else's man play that? Have y'all even heard of that, PUBG? It's like players, player unknowns, sorry about the lighting. Player unknowns battleground, something like that. I don't know. Apparently it's somewhat like um, Fortnite. Shane doesn't play Fortnite. He just does PUBG, but um, yeah, he's up there playing that. So I think we're just going to relax um, until the movie. I don't know if we're going to go out to eat or not, or if we'll just eat here. I'll probably just eat here because I went out for lunch and don't really feel like going out again. So I wanted to show y'all what I picked up from Target um, since I didn't go around in the store. Um, so yeah, I will just show you what I picked up right now. We're having 4th of July at our house this year. So I picked up a couple things for the party. Um, I got this tin in the dollar section. I'm gonna use this for like um, silverware since there's three tiers here. And then napkins will go in here. I also bought balloon kits. I'm gonna do a like a little photo booth section outside in the backyard. So I think these will be cute to hang up. I'll probably do this one for the photo booth. I don't know, maybe this one somewhere in the house and that's just for whatever. I also bought a American flag backdrop from Party City that I'm gonna use to hang up um, on our garage. And then this will hang um, in front of it. So I got those. I got some little props to use for the photo booth for guests. I got this Uncle Sam hat. I got a couple of funky USA glasses. Um, I am also gonna get a photo booth kit from Amazon. I ordered that. This is just a little wood decor set that says USA. I'm going to put this on the drink stand to make that a little bit festive too. Um, I picked up two bandanas for the dogs. I love putting bandanas around my dog's necks. They just look so stinking cute and fancy. So got one for Dudley, one for Beckham. And then I picked up my 4th of July outfit. So I got these cute shorts. I have not, these were $20. I have not owned 4th of July or Memorial Day um, clothing since like high school. And then I got this shirt. It's the American flag with like beer pong decor. I thought that was super funny. They had another one. It was a muscle tank that said red, white, and beer. I might get that one too, but um, this one was cute. And it just depends which one breathes better since we'll be outside. And it is so damn hot in Houston in the summertime. I just, I can't. And um, I also, I'll show you guys what else I got. It's kind of a big thing. Nope, stay up there. So I picked up this, oh God, that lighting sucks. So I picked up this bench. Oh my God, the lighting is awful. Anyways, I picked up this bench for our Front porch. I haven't decided if I like it yet. Ooh, next DIY too, or future DIYs, we are going to build hanging planter boxes. I think two or three to hang on the brick and add some more decor. So yeah, haven't decided if I'm gonna keep that yet. Let me know what y'all think. I'm gonna put some pillows around it um, or on it too. So yeah, that's all I got today at Target. All right, we are at Dollar Tree. We're about to go see The Incredibles 2, and it's kind of like a Shane and I tradition to come to Dollar Tree and get um, candy and snacks to sneak into the movies. It's totally illegal, but what are you getting? Hot tamales. From a little hot tamale, I always get Sour Patch watermelon, too. So that's probably some hot fries. Picked up some things for the 4th of July party, and... 
yeah. Excited. I literally picked up the same movie snacks we always, always get. Corn nuts. Usually we get hot fries, but we didn't get those this time. Did they even have them? Nope. No hot fries, so that's probably why we didn't get them. And then Sour Patch Watermelon for me. Reese's Pieces for the both of us. This is one we can both agree on. Hot tamales for Shane. I don't know why he gets these. They're disgusting. And we are off to the movie. So we are back from the movie. It was 1 million percent worth the 14 year wait. Highly recommend it. There are also some really kick butt um, previews for upcoming movies in the future coming out. Obviously kids movies like How to Train Your Dragon 3. So excited for that one too. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I come home to, like literally, as soon as we get home from anything. Literally, every time when we come home, he doesn't spend any time with me. Oh, wait, you heathen. Are you talking to me or the video game? You! Rude. So, that is it for us tonight. I'm probably gonna watch Hey Arnold downstairs by myself for the next, like, I don't know, hour. And then Shane will probably crawl into bed with me around 4 a.m. like he always does playing this stupid game. So, peace out. Say goodnight, Shane. Goodnight, everyone.